colleges and universities that fail to investigate allegations of sexual assault on campus could be fined. The New Jersey State Assembly approved that measure and sent it on to the Senate, and an assembly committee unanimously endorsed a plan to change how Rutgers University is governed. Chief political correspondent Michael Aaron is standing by in Trenton with a look at a jam-packed day. Michael, what topped the agenda? Well, it was a busy day down here. I'd say about six or eight medium high profile bills got heard, like the Rutgers bill you just referred to, uh, which collapses the Rutgers Board of Trustees from 59 members to 41, something that Senate President Steve Sweeney had been pushing for a year. Uh, the sexual assault on campus bill requires the state attorney general to fine up to $50,000 any university that does not report an incident of sexual assault or an allegation of sexual assault on campus to local law enforcement. There was also a five bill package on Atlantic City seeking to stabilize the finances of city government and the city schools. There was also a bill dealing with two governmental entities in the Meadowlands, consolidating the Meadowlands Commission with the Sports and Exposition Authority. And I could go on, but I'll leave you with those. Also, a new senator was sworn in, right? Nielsa Cruz Perez, who uh, was an assemblywoman for 14 years, succeeds the new Congressman Donald Norcross as the fifth district senator from Camden and Gloucester counties. Uh, she was born in Puerto Rico. She'll become the third Latina currently in the state Senate. Uh, she'll become the 11th woman out of 40 state senators. She served in the U.S. Army. And I remember her from the assembly floor as a firebrand on certain issues that meant a lot to the city of Camden. All right. Thank you very much. Michael Aaron.